Um, so really quick. So Greg, are, are you good to start early? Yeah, I'm good, bud. Absolutely. Okay, so this is uh, Greg, the CEO of Air Selfie, which is uh, essentially a, a drone specifically made for taking selfies. Uh, I'm assuming. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Nice job. Okay, yeah. So he's going to tell us uh, a little bit about Air Selfie first, and I think how the idea came about, and we'll we'll go from there. So why don't you go ahead and uh, introduce the company a little bit and introduce uh, Air Selfie? Fantastic. Hey, I see our website up there. Thanks for bringing that up. Uh, hi, yeah, Greg Lindhoff. Um, I'm sitting in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota uh, today, Great. and uh, part of TechFluence. Um, so thanks for having us on. Yep. Uh, Air Selfie is a, a really really fun product. Uh, you know, really focused at social media influencers content creators, everybody knows one of those, right? So um, we've created a product that's a supplement to your phone. So it doesn't replace your phone as your main camera, but it really gives you the ability to take a product out of your pocket. I'm sure as you're looking at that website, you're thinking, well, how big is it? There's a kind of a good shot, but here it is live, right? So um, if I put that in front and I turn it upside down the right way, right? Here's, here's our Neo compared to my phone. So the idea here is uh, pocket size. Uh, Air Selfie has been around for a few years and our first introductions of product were always that you would control the product with the phone. So the phone was your controller yep. and you'd it'd fly out of your hand and you'd take it, you'd get it into a spot and then you'd look and you'd take a picture, or take a video. Mm. Well, this generation is our fourth generation, Air Neo, Air New. And Air New is the perfect product for social media. Um, now I take it out, I turn it on, and I wish it, you know, in this environment I can't do a great video but or a great okay. demo, but I turn it on. And now we use this analog input button on the back. And you'll be able to see here, I'll push this twice, and it'll spin up the propellers. Yep. Um, so what we do then is we just gently toss it into the air. It stabilizes. It looks for a face, so eyes, nose, mouth, we're using AI technology. It will fly out depending on the mission, and I'll tell you about those missions, but depending on Perfect. the mission, it then goes out and takes pictures or video. Uh, and then magically stops the video or pictures and then flies back and lands in your hand. So that's the fun part about it, right? It's, it's the magic of something you can come out of your pocket, pocket size, not scary, very safe. You can pretty much use it in, in any environment. And I'll tell you where you can't use it, but pretty much any environment. Um, it will fly out based on the number of clicks that I put on the input uh, button. So click, click, goes out, gives me a wide picture. That would be for a group photo. Mm. I, I get it framed up on my face. I walk into the photo. Boom, hey, here we're here. Uh, click, click three times. Now it's Zoom. So maybe it's just me and, and uh, my girlfriend or my wife, um, my kids. And I, I'm getting a closer shot here. And what's super cool about what we've done today is now we have video. So I click three times, uh, excuse me, four times, and it's going to go out and it's going to be five feet away from me. It's going to frame up my face and it's going to follow me for 15 seconds and take video. It flies then back in my hand and then I immediately pull that video down to my phone and uh, I can then see it on my phone and I can share that content or I can edit it, whatever I want to add music to it, TikTok, Instagram, snap yep. where we're going to go so, so we've created a, a device that is easy out of your pocket uh it supplements your phone to create uh great content so how is just as somebody that's tested quite a few drones myself how is the stabilization on it in terms of uh you know let's you get some wind right how does how does wind affect it it's i'm assuming it's a pretty light device so do you see any issues there or um, does it have to be a perfect environment for it to to have the perfect experience with it? That's a great question. So our our AI technology, right, using a face as a controller, there's some mm -hmm. limits to that, right? So yep. in, in wind, right, we don't recommend using that, that technology in wind because unless you get that wind straight behind you and the AI technology can really hold that face, um, it, it will fly. Yep. So what we did then recommend, right, is just using the controller. And we do have an outdoor mode. Um, it's got a little rabbit in the icon. And in the outdoor mode, you can then fly it and control it and get it there. But it's 53 grams. So it is very light. Yep. And, um, and so, you know, it's going to fight the breeze. If the breeze is coming at it, right? it's going to tilt into the, into the wind. Um, 
the the other factor just is that you know it's not it's not an iphone camera right yep. so uh, picture quality is very good it's got a four megapixel sensor that that takes a 12 we interpolate to 12 megapixels um takes 2k video but it's um you know it, it's really aligned for good lighting environments right so it's not a, a nighttime view product right and obviously improved from the the previous generations i'm assuming the camera quality has we've, we've improved it all the way up and if you you know if a couple of those videos that you just showed right if you take a click those are uh, there's some video content in there from the actual product that is just, you know, just that much better. Um, and, and that's really a goal of ours, right? We're continue to grow um, in terms of that technology. We still need to be under $300 uh, mm -hmm. where we see the market, but we'll continue to do that. We have a product we'll launch here uh, for CES that will again uh, increase the capability from, uh, from the imaging quality. And what's the current price point of their selfie? So it's $160. Uh, so in the US, some places you'll find it for $150. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and, and it does come, the other question you might have is battery life. So yep. six minutes of battery life. So that's about five flights. Yep. Um, depending on if five video flights, right, which take about a minute each. Um, but we also sell this controller or this battery pack or this battery pack. And and now, but the typical use is to fly it and then plug it in. You can see right there that it's actually charging. Uh, yep. so if you're using it like this, you're using it once or twice, you put it back in the charger or connect it back to the battery pack, then you're kind of always topping it off and it's it's always available for you. And what is the, what's the charge time? How long roughly? Uh, zero to full charge is 50 minutes, but yep. when you use it two or three minutes, it's about 15, 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. And, and are you noticing any any damage? Like, are, are these being damaged at all? Or are they, are they pretty sturdy? Um, right? It, are, are they breaking? Like, what's the percentage of people yeah, that are yeah. coming to you? This pro the returns on this product have been very low. Um, okay. you know, physical damage, no. Occasionally, people will prop a, uh, knock a prop off. We do include extra props with it. Yep. Uh, you know, I, I, to be very honest, our biggest issue is people learning about your face as a controller, right? It's totally foreign if you've never done it before. Yep. So you do, you know, you do as you toss it out in front of you, you it will look for your face, but occasionally you got to kind of move around and get your face in it. But then you can see it kind of locks in on your face in, in a way, the way you are to photos and video. Oh, great. And so who are you seeing this mostly for? Are you, are, is this being marketed more towards, you know, the new TikTok generation, the new content creation? Are you seeing even just like the average consumer, the average person that's, I'm going to a national park tomorrow, right? Are you seeing those kind of people that are going for a quick little trip? Are you seeing them purchase it as well? Or is this more creators? Yeah. So for this market, it's definitely creators, right? And it's, yep. it's, it's somebody that wants another thing in their bag to get another perspective, right? So I don't have somebody to hand my phone to to get that uh, that video that I want, I've got a pet that's in my aunt. I've got a you know, mom. So we think we see it as that's the market, and that's that's who's buying it today. Yep. The feedback that we're getting is I want that outdoor product, right? So I, I really we get a lot of chats, we get a lot of emails. I want a product that does the same thing: easy to turn on, easy to just launch, but that will go outdoors. And we we have that in the works, and we see that as a, another big market for us that then expands into the typical uh, drone market. For sure, yeah. So are you saying, are, are you, uh, right now, would you consider yourself more of the leader? Are there competitors that do something similar to this right now? Or are you kind of, I know $160 was a, a very surprising price point. Um, so I, I was surprised it was that cheap. I was actually expecting it to be closer to $250. Yeah. Um, so are, are you seeing other competitors? Do you What do you do better than your competitors if there are? Two, two things. One, we have IP around this, this uh, uh, the design, right? So right. integrated propellers yep. um, they're across the globe, whether you're in China, Europe, or the US, we have IP around this and they can't copy that design. Uh, secondly, what we've done with the flight control system and the AI, we also don't uh, see anybody out there doing that. There are drones that have follow me, yep. but they all have to be you know, enacted from here. You have to, you have to give it you know, connected to the controller. Yeah. Um, so, so we have a lot of benefit there. We were really excited when a company called Snap came out with a product called Pixie. Extremely short lived. I don't think it really had anything to do with the product per se. In fact, the reviews of the 
product and the market and some of the you know, some people reviewed our product along with Pixie were like, hey, this is really cool. And for social media content creators, yep. it's a good thing. Um, but, you know, Snap has some bigger problems. So that's that's would, would have been our primary competitor. Uh, for sure. And our, uh, so this uh, this could be used indoors as well, correct? Like yes, you, you, there's no uh, it, it does a great job reading the environment. You're not going to see it really run into anything. You're not. No, you're not. Yeah. And it's and it's so light that if it does, you know, if it does run into a wall, it just bounces off. And drops. Uh, we have not. We don't see anything back uh, from a broken frame. It doesn't happen. OK. Um, last little question. What was I going to ask here? Um, I had something else. I'm trying to think now. Uh, oh, the app. You 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 have a you have your own app, correct? So this yeah, is all no. done through the app, and it just saves directly on your phone right away. Or do you go through it and do you right. share so, through the app? Is that kind of part of the integration? Yeah. So I take uh, I've got a little SD card in the in the drone right yep. here, right? Yep. And so once you connect, and we connect via Wi-Fi. Yep. Uh, so this becomes a hub. I connect. Um, as soon as I connect, I'm downloading the pictures and video that are there, and I download those, those into the gallery. And yep. then, uh, and then I can share from the gallery. So, uh, here's my, here's a picture from my gallery, mm -hmm. right? And then I can immediately go here, and I can share. Now I can go Instagram, yep. Facebook, whatever. And that was taken with their selfie that last. That was taken with their selfie. Right. right. So, you know, then I come up with this. So, it, you know, this is Instagram. So it's you know one by one, or I guess Instagram is a one by one. It's sixteen yep. by nine in this case, or one by one. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. So is there anything else you want people to know about the air selfie before we, uh, so, yeah, I, I just, I, I think one, um, you know, we've been around a while. We're really building a community and, uh, you know, this product or other products where you were flying with the controller, I think we're gadgets right now. Yeah. We're really, you know, we're taking content seriously. Um, this is a really fun product. You'll see more coming from us. Uh, we're going to continue to create this, uh, selfie camera market and, uh, Love to love to have uh, your your customers uh, jump on board for sure. Yeah, no, uh, uh, it's going to be interesting to see where it goes from here, especially with uh, content creation growing bigger and bigger every year, and uh, there being more of a need for as somebody myself who does most of my own filming, uh, and you know I don't have a helper right now, so having tools like this that I can utilize in certain environments are definitely I think uh, beneficial um, to make things a lot easier. Uh, so thanks for coming on, Greg. I appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy your rest of your time at the, the tech conference. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks for including right. uh, Air Selfie in your event today. Perfect. All right. Thanks, Greg. Yeah, bye.